Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this is for The Great Perhaps, an adventure slash puzzle game developed by Caligari Games, published by Dragius Games, and is available to you for just £6.71 on sale from July 9th, 2020, but its original price will be £8.39. Now this was actually such a good, fun game to play, I thoroughly enjoyed it all. We basically play as an astronaut who has crash landed on Earth and he's basically trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Now the main game mechanic is a lantern that we will use to go to the future, to the past, and using the flashlight to see into the past or the future. Uh, if it sounds confusing, it's honestly not that much at all, and it'll all become clear soon my friends. <laughs> So as for achievements then, they are not that difficult to at all to obtain in all honesty. A few story related ones, few missable ones to collect along the way. Nothing too difficult as long as you are following this guide. And with this you will be getting another easy and again very enjoyable 1000 out of 1000 and a platinum in roughly around 1-2 to two hours. Also a big thanks to Caligari Games for providing me the code to bring you this walkthrough. Hope you enjoy it, and with that being said then, let us begin. So we start, obviously, crash landing, as we normally do in every space adventure game. This is basically just a small sort of tutorial bit. Press B to jump, that'll be your jump button throughout the entire game, obviously. Press A once, and you'll sort of hold on to things, uh, interact with all items along the world, or along the few levels that we're going to go on. Um, push the cart down and that'll get us over the hill. Again, press the A button to open up the door. So it's all very, you know, basic, easy stuff at the beginning. Again, for the majority, it's not too bad. We're already coming up to our first missable achievement, though. Stand by this grave right here, as you see the teddy bear, and just press the A button around eight or nine times. The teddy bear's voice will fade and the achievement will unlock, which is... Quite a sad way to start off the uh, big achievement list right here, but keep mashing A until the achievement unlocks anyway. So there is that first achievement out of the way then, so we'll just keep skipping forward to the right. Now, our main character, Cosmos, or Cosmos, or whatever his bloody name is. Um, Cosmos, yes, I am right. Does he not sound like Pierce Brosnan? Because all I'm getting is Simpsons Treehouse of Horror vibes from Pierce Brosnan, if you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm sure you do get what I mean. Just just keep listening, and that's all, that's all I can hear is his voice on that Treehouse of Horror episode. Anyway, keep skipping along. You know, and by the way, we were... At this current point, we are into the future, and... It, this, that will be the best way to tell this game. When it's all bleak and looking a bit messed up, this is the future, and this is where we're actually picking up the lantern. Now, which will get us into the past. So pick up this lantern here, press and hold the X button, and that will bring us into the past. You can always tell the past because there will be many people about it will look cleaner, nicer, and more delicious. Um, there's a monster chasing after you when you press and hold X to go back into the future. There's a sort of tutorial for it, so just run away, you'll be fine. And there's our second achievement unlocked. Now this is what you'll need to be doing a lot. You'll need to be pressing and holding the X button then to go into the past, go into the future, to unlock doors, get certain items, etc. And pressing the X button once actually gives off that flashlight which sees into the future or the past, etc. So right here then, from the top stairs, you went down, went into the right room, picked up the item in the future, go into the past to get through the door, and then go downstairs. We will actually be putting this item in this big old supercomputer right here, and we will be solving a small puzzle. Again, it's, it only takes a few seconds, but this one is easier. There's not too many of these puzzles, which is... I mean, it's always handy, but they're not too hard anyway if they wanted to chuck a bit more at us. So go into the future, go back upstairs, and on the left-hand side, in the past, because again, as you see in the future where it's all bleak and disgusting, there's no item there. So pick up that item in the past. Hopefully, you know, it's quick to get used to, so you shouldn't have too many issues with it. But, you know, it's uh, sort of sort of just in case, because it, it can get confusing first, which one's the future and which one's the past. 
So hopefully I don't mess you around with that. So jump into the cart and then press and hold the Y button to aim. Get it on that lever. I completely missed it, but it's still recognized as a big hit. I am legend at baseball. No, I'm really not. Can ball even. And just enjoy the road for a minute. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Now it's over. <laughs> now we're just moving on. And again, the flashlight will sort of come very much, very much in handy as we sort of um, try and see enemies in the distant future. So at this point, go into the past and just keep running forward and get yourself mashed up by a brain. By a brain. By a train, bruh. <laughs> keep on running. It'll come. This sort of comes at random intervals, but three, two, one, one. Ah, that was close enough. But anyway, that gets us our third achievement of the game for getting <laughs> run over by a train. But at this point, we actually have to go into the we have to go into the future to avoid the train, but obviously have to go into the past to avoid the debris and get past it. So I'd say every sort of ten seconds, keep your flashlight on. There we go. So I'm into the future now. So my best uh, advice is just to wait for the train. So go into the future, put your flashlight on. As soon as you see the train going past, like right now, then we can go back into the past and keep on running. So just do it, I say, every sort of 10 to 15 seconds. Sort of just go back into the future. It's more of a just-in-case thing, in all fairness. Because I, I tried slamming through it, and... Well, funnily enough, I got mashed up. <laughs> So there it goes again then, the pissing thing. So we know what we need to do now. Back into the past, but there is a monster lying on the tracks which you actually need to be in the future for. So this is your sort of checkpoint right here. So if you do die at this point, you just come back to this door, which is nice. Wait again for the train because, you know, dying once by a train is hardcore, but, you know, three, four, five times is just taking the piss. There we go, wait for that train, there we go, now we can move on, and you'll see the monster, Keep, turn your flashlight on, of course by pressing X once, and there's the monster then, so if you go straight into him you die, so go straight back into the past, and then you should be golden at this point, so go straight back into the future again, so obviously to avoid being hit by the train, and there we go, so we've made it to the end, we will be needing to go back to the left, and then back to the right, but go to the room that I am in right now. You'll have to turn it back into the past to get the key. There will be so... It will be, you know, just a lot of back and forth. But it's one of those nice, enjoyable ones that you get used to, like I said, really quick. So once we're going now, again, like I said, wait there for the train. I actually got kind of lucky with that bit, to be honest. Wait for the train in the future. And then you see the monster. Again, almost got lucky with that. So go back into the past to avoid him. And then jump your ass straight back into the future. Again, remember, future equals bleak, past equals sexy. Apparently. But that's the way we're getting in. Go into the past, go through the door then, and then again, jump back into the future so we can grab <laughs> this item. And guess where we're going next? We're going back to the right. Because nothing's easy like that. So there goes the train again. Screw off. Just go back into the future again. Uh, yeah, you should really know how to do this sort of point by now. I'm sure I died about five or six times, but it was all stupid. So past the monster, when you're in the past, go back to the future, and that is this section done. It's easier than I tried doing first. I died so many times so stupidly, <laughs> but it got funny in the end. So here we go, then you're going to see security guards there, so, well, they can screw off. We're going into the future, putting the valve on the uh, little bit of... Valveness there, and then we're moving on. On to the next area. So, you see how this game works? It's nice, it's enjoyable, and it's got to make you think. Which is always good. It's not just a sort of mindless get from one end to the other. It's you got to think about sort of things, and it's brilliant. But next up then, we are at Freak Show Carnival. Or just a regular carnival. It depends, again, where you're from and how you want to look at it. But... Be careful there, there is a big pit, and if you go into the future, you will actually die. And also, sorry, one thing that I forgot, we're just going to the end at this point now, but there's one thing I forgot to mention, sorry, is if you stay in either the past or the future for too long, it automatically sort of runs out and you go into 
vice versa, whatever you're in. So if you're too long in the past, it'll go into the future and vice versa. So be aware of that. That's why I nearly went into that pit right there. Um, yeah, so this little girl, you want to throw a brick at her head, really. She's just sort of Angelica from the Rugrats. You want to, you know, just... I mean, technically, I suppose it's child abuse if you throw a brick at a little girl's head. So maybe let's not do that. Let's go into the future. Grab the bottle of vodka. That's what we're doing there. And then run all the way back to the left-hand side. Past Superman and Batman. It's a real gay moustache, hun. Better than mine, though. So I am damping. Skip along. And then we'll go to this little uh, trailer right here. So nip in here. Give the vodka straight to the clown. Not exactly happy or crusty the clown, is he? Oh, actually, he is crusty the clown. He's an alcoholic depressant. And go back out. And next we are going to uh, just where Superman and Batman was. She's just next to the hot dog stand right here in the teddy bear stand. Go into the future and there's going to be another item for us to pick up outside this tent. Sort of oxygen mask or whatever. So that's it, yeah. Well done. You are Superman. You are better than Superman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just keep on skipping. Go back, give the item to uh, Krusty the Clown. And that is this little area done. He gives us a balloon. Again, sadly, we can't fill it with LED or, you know, a couple of bricks or... You know, anything like that to chuck at the little girl. Because, again, it would be abuse and... We'd be arrested. And I ain't got time for that. I, I have not got time to be bummed in prison, i got to be honest. Uh, so let's go all the way to the right. I don't know about you guys. I'm sure you haven't got the time for that either. Uh, go all the way to the right. Uh, you'll have to press and hold the Y button. Aim it at the little girl. You'll have to do this twice because she's just... She's, she just doesn't catch it. Because she's a knob. But that's okay. Pick it up. Throw it at her once again. And there we go, we get the key and we can move on. Finally, little jerk. Um, I seem to have a little bit of brain fade here. Obviously go into the past so we can get through the gate. Um, you can't actually go anywhere into the future, but for some reason I'm just going mad with the X button. Oh, by the way, what, what I obviously meant was that the spoiled child is, is lovely. All children should be spoiled. Pfft. Yeah. Anyway, keep on moving to the right. We're done with that now. No more spoiled children. Uh, go into the future and then go through the door. And we are now in the hospital ward. So get to the debris and then go into the past, thus avoiding the security guard, even though the fat shit can't just look left. Um, nip back into the future sort of when you get past the debris so we go all the way to the end go up the stairs now and then go to the left and uh, we'll be getting a little cutscene right now and we just look at all that on the wall it tells a pretty significant picture to be fair go into the past and this gives us a little cutscene damn it honey what are you doing here again you And as soon as it ends, immediately go into the future so he doesn't stab you with his uh, drug needle. No thanks, buddy. Uh, wait till he nips past and then pick up the item which is on the floor right there. And then what you need to do is sort of aim it in between the blood splatter on the wall and the sort of seat with the skeletons lying on. That will get these sort of creature looking things to fly down. That enables us to move on. Nice and cheesy, that one. So go to the right, up the stairs. And just keep going to the left at the minute. We'll be meeting a nice old guy right now. Um, don't do that. Don't go into the past because he will still try to stab you and drug you up. And probably have his way with you, the dirty git. And when you're here then, stay in the future. Press the A button to interact. Fart out this. I mean, that just looked like pure poop stink. To me, pick up the item, the flower inside, go to the past, and the old guy is, what? well, he's, he's off his nut, but <laughs> he's not scared of somebody flying into the past and the future. So, what you'll need to do then, press the A button, 
And then as soon as the old guy says somebody's coming, or you see the guy coming on screen, the security guard or, or a staff member, immediately press the A button to get off and press and hold the X button to go back into the future. Wait till he goes past. And then go back into the past and push him along. Lovely, mate. All the way to the elevator. I mean, we're not really here to be pushing old people about, but it's the situation we find ourselves in, right? <laughs> so, here we are at the elevator. Be careful. Uh, go up to the fourth floor. It will automatically be on there for you. I say be careful because sometimes it can be a bit finicky and you can end up up the stairs rather than on the elevator. So just push him now nice and calmly all the way to the end. Wait again. If you see another staff member, of course, just give him the dodge by going into the future. And that should be that now. Now we can nice and calmly do it anyway. Yeah, close enough, eh? So, what's the secret? Awesome! But how... Okay, I'll think of something. Oh. And now what we are going to do is get that security guard laid, basically, the one of on the very first floor. So, that's nice of us, isn't it? Go all the way to the right, staying in the future as to avoid this guy. Go upstairs, go to the left, and in the middle of this area is the um, this little desk right here. Place the flower in it, go back into the future, and it will automatically do up a cutscene. This uh, hot little totty right here is going to go for Beef Boy Security Guard downstairs. And that'll get us the Love Struck achievement as well. What it'll also do is now we can get the key which the security guard is next to right there. So it's a win-win-win for everyone. Especially that guy. I bet he didn't think that was going to be his lucky day. So there we go. Then that's the Love Struck achievement done. Now we can go all the way down to the first floor, all the way to the left. Grabbing ye old key. And that'll give us the roof access. Plenty to do. Plenty to do. And, well, actually plenty of time to do it in, really, so. So, up, 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 up. We climb all the way to the fifth floor again and that little white gate right there is our access so into the future we go get your ass through there and well that's the end of the game no oh, i'm just joking we've got a while to go yet so <laughs> go to the right take a look at that nice dead chilling guy that's a good pose to die in go through the only door you can go into the past open up this little uh sort of awning or whatever it is on the right um, stay in the past and we can now jump across. If you go into the future, that awning is not there and we fall to our death. So now go back into the future, cross this little bridge here and we'll be coming up to a writer who is feeling a bit suicidal, unfortunately. Um, basically, he writes a bad book, feels his life is no longer worth living and that is quite a sad state of affairs as there are plenty of people, sadly, who do feel like that even though there are way less talented people who think they are the God's gift of Earth. So anyway, go into the past, have a little chat with this guy, press the B button to smash through the dialogue, we will always be doing that, wherever we can, so we'll be going back up the ladder now, and all we're doing, this this bit's very easy as well, um, we'll be heading back down, going through the door, and when we go to the future, his book's basically going to be there. We're going to save the day because we are Cosmos. So go through this door right here, go all the way to the end, go into the future, and you can see his book just on the floor to the right. There it is. And what this is going to do is give him hope, and he thinks, you know what, bruh, I am king. And then he probably gets rich, gets famous, has all the ladies he wants, or men, whatever his sexual preference is, of course, or animals, but we're not going to go into that too much. Uh, <laughs> And he has a happy life after all. There we go. Just nip back down. Go back into the past. Give him the book. And then we can proceed to the right door. Here it is. I brought you an from the future. You will succeed. 
Don't be afraid to take your manuscript to the publisher. What? Where did you get that? Sure. Yes, you. Now, my friends, you enjoy the next 20 seconds as we fly all the way to the right. I don't know why I just said it like that. Better things to do. L9, where do I go now? So, now what we're going to be doing is saving the day once again, because why the hell not? We're an astronaut and go into the future and the past. So, go all the way to the right in the past at the moment. Skip, skip, skip to the loo, go through the door right here, and then go to the left for a little cutscene to see a little bank hostage situation going on. I'll shoot anyone who. So, first things first, nip into the future, uh, head down the ladder right here, and go all the way to the left where we will uh, untie the security guard when we get back into the past. So there we go, he's all tied up, obviously he's behind the locked door, because if we were in the past we couldn't get through the locked door, if you sort of figured that out by now. Leave this one to me, he's got a proper army voice, the security guard, and I love it. And he's got the proper Arnie Schwarzenegger action as well. With the run, with the smashing. Just, I mean, if that doesn't turn you on, I don't know what does. Sorry, move on, move on. Go back into the future. <laughs> run back up the ladder very slowly. Now then, this is not a very tricky bit, but we've got the item. Uh, put your flashlight on. Wait until the guy goes to the right. And then just throw it sort of past the elevator. That will be fine. That's basically sort of a bomb sort of thing. Go into the future before you get shot. And then go into the middle where the hostages are right here. And there's like a sort of tree. So press A to interact with it. And it'll give off this sort of poisonous pink stink. <laughs> that also means two things. Stop with the dirty mind. Stop with the dirty mind. Anyway, pick it up once again. Go to the left of the sort of uh, second guy right here. Wait until he turns around. This will be your best bet. Go into the past and then throw it sort of anywhere near the hostages. That'll release the sort of pink stink and it'll knock everyone out. So the hostages are saved. Everyone's saved. We get an achievement and we can move on now as well. So nice and easy that one. You, you may slightly get shot. I almost did twice there, but I sort of got away with it. So as long as you picked up the TNT off from the left-hand side, go down the ladder onto the sort of rubble right here, and then just climb back up the ladder and wait for the explosion. Three, two, one, go. Great. And there we have it. Delicious. So now we can go back down the ladder, past all the rubble that was blocking our way originally, and it's just as simple as nipping off to the right now. But we are coming up to a point where a monster will slowly chase us. But this bit is easy enough. So up the ladder, all the way to the right, get through the door. Yes, this is my home. And job's done. So this is where the monster will sort of appear now. Right underneath our ass from absolutely nowhere. So we need to go up about four, I mean... You know, could, could be nicer if the game would let us move a little bit faster, but that's okay. So, immediately press B to get up, and then you'll have to go to the right a bit and then jump over back to the left, which is no problem. Again, B button to jump. Uh, for this next bit then, uh, pick up the item that was there, and then you'll have to throw it at the ladder. You'll have to throw it twice, even though it seems like it didn't touch it, it actually did, so throw it again. And that'll uh, drop the ladder down, then climb up. I mean, again, you think you're being chased by monsters. You'd be sprinting as much as you can, but hey, he's in an astronaut suit. I don't know. Grab this desk, move it all the way to the right. I mean, surely the desk is not that heavy, but again, that's fine. It's, it's how it's going. And how is the monster not sort of just poking his head up through the holes? Anyway, go up to the ladder. This bit may be finicky, so be very careful. I actually died there. I accidentally went down the first time, and he fudged me up. Go to the left, get the bicycle handlebars, uh, interact them with the elevator, 
and that should be that. We'll be able to climb up now, and we should be golden. All we've got to do now is go to the right. This is an automatic slowly walking thing where we basically see ourselves as a young little lad. But it unlocks another achievement for us, which is always good. Yes, finally. It was me. All right, think straight. What do I do now? There is a military science center nearby. It should have the black boxes with a record of all seismic activity. Yes, good idea, L9. I can try to take them back to the past to warn everyone of what's coming. Thanks, L9. What would I do without you? You would probably die. But don't worry, we are in this together. Root calculated. The shortest way is through the greenhouse. I mean, you could have probably just gone to the past and moved that rubble and uh, gone through the gate here a little bit quicker than I did, but... Hey, I didn't realize, so... <laughs> this isn't not really a mess up, is it? But anyway, we're through the gate now, and... This next bit is probably going to take a little... It, it takes a few minutes to complete. So we'll head off to the right now. Go into the past, because it's just so much nicer in the past, isn't it? Press B to skip through the dialogue if you wish, or if you wish to read it. It's obviously very interesting. Again, really did enjoy the story, I, I have to admit. Um, back into the past, go through to the... Bo uh, is it called bo uh, Botany? Bottery? Botany? Botany expert? Guy who loves flowers. Guy who gets turned on by flowers. I'll, I'll let you uh, remind me what the hell that is. <laughs> but anyway, all we're doing for now, all we've got to do is basically just follow this old guy. Because eventually, we, he's got a plant at the very end of this section called Carl. He doesn't hurt you, he's just a big, um, what are they called? Yum yum plants. Eat you. Venus flytrap looking things, that's the one. But he doesn't hurt you, but what we've got to do is... Follow this old guy and sort of get ingredients to be able to get a key to move on from this area. But it does take a few minutes because he is about 150, sort of Mr. Burns age, and he does move very slowly. It's best to get into the future at this point now, because if you're still in the past and you try to follow him down these stairs, he won't actually let you. So again, just um, make sure to sort of follow him around and just see which sort of ingredients he picks up. I mean, obviously you'll follow me anyway, so you won't get it wrong, but, you know, if you want to do it yourself. God damn it, you slow. Come on. So there we go. We can finally now... He's, he, just leave him. He's good. We're going to be going down the stairs now. So the very first ingredient we need is all the way to the left in this sort of pink bottle here. Pick up the item and then go to the right and put it in the little green container here. This little green um, watering can. Up the stairs to the left is a little green sort of box item. Pick that up down and put it in and then directly just to the left of you is like a little sugar bag or something 
That's the third and final ingredient. So then pick up the watering can, go all the way to the right, go and see Carl in the UK language or Coral in American. I'd love that. Coral. Anyway, that gives us another achievement, Expert Gardener. It also gives us the key for us to move on. As you can see, the old guy is... Well, he's pretty dead by now. He is he's extremely dead. So he ain't going to miss the key for us to get out. Again, we could have smashed the window and got out a bit easier, but that's okay. So we're about 20 minutes now from the end. We're not too far away, but we've got to get through this ostrich. So go into the past, and there's going to be an item just to the left of uh, you in the future to pick up. So to the future, pick up the item, go back to the past, and then throw it at Mr. Ostrich Head. And what he'll do is sort of pick that up, and we can ride him. We can't eat him. Because we're probably on some sort of space age diet, but what we can do is ride him across, and that gets us across lovely. So through the door now, that also gets us another achievement. There's a few things we have to be doing here. So if we uh, go back into the future, and go through the door on the right, now go back into the past, and that will get us the key, which we couldn't get through because it was already locked. Back into the future, back downstairs, back into the past, <laughs> through <laughs> through the door, and then we can actually get through the door on the left, which enables the elephants Ma and Daughter, or Ma and Son, or... The, a happy little family gets back together. Beautiful. So that enables us to get past again, otherwise we'd be crushed by the elephant. Um, at this point then, go back into the future so we can get through here. Now this octopus... He's not a boss or anything, but he will uh, kill you. What we need to do is get him to destroy that box. And you can always see when there's a little shadow just above you, that's where he's about to attack it. So be careful. It's maybe a little bit hard to see, but when he destroys the box, grab the teddy bear, run through the door, get back into the past, and then throw it sort of just beyond the tree. That will enable the bear to pretend like he's got a kid. It's kind of sad if you kind of think about it. But again, that enables us to move forward when we go into the future. So yeah, that sort of took some explaining to do, but I'm glad you're still sticking with me there. So now we've come into this sort of town area. This is just a little cutscene for the moment. This happens automatically. How strange. I can see the inscription in the light of the lantern, but it doesn't exist in any of the times. Who could leave a clue like that? I wonder what else could be hidden like that. So, our next objective now is to find a few hidden keys that we need to be able to proceed at the very right of the screen. So, head back into the future, go past this sort of building with the car in front of it, and it's this burnt out building right here. It's kind of obvious when you see which one it is. Go into the past, and then go ahead and go in. Use your flashlight. And it's on the second painting, sort of have a look around, but it's on the second painting every time. That is where your first hidden key will be. So now we can head out, go all the way to the right, go into the future, go into the past. Doesn't really make a difference too much here. That's our next location, the church, but we're just going to put the first key in first. As I don't know if we could have um, just grabbed both keys. I don't think we can. I think it's only one item per, you know, you can carry. So go ahead, uh, interact with the door right here. That will, uh, well, that will put the first key in. Now we can go back to the left and we're going back into the church to do some praying. Pray for Jeebus. And this one's a, a tiny little bit more complicated, but it's not too bad. Push the desk to the right. Uh, as far as you can, and then grab the boxes which are on the right, all the way to the left, as far as they will go. And then all you have to do is just climb up onto the boxes, use your flashlight again, and you'll see the key hidden in the window right there. So just pick that up straight away, and we can move on. Back into the past to get out, otherwise it's quite tricky. Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies. Kevin and Perry impression. I know, I know, I'm good. Um, so go back into the future to put that key in now. That will get us the achievement called Hide and Seek. 
But we are not quite done yet. We need another item. So it's in the cinema sort of thing, which was just to the left of the door. Up these steps right here. And that will grab us the sort of um, mechanism that we need to be able for the puzzle to work. And I just realized that probably made no sense to be able for. But you get what I mean. Thank you very much. So back to the right. And again, it's just like the same puzzle like we did okay. earlier. So we'll skip ahead a couple of seconds if you just want to see the uh, finished product. Not too difficult, though. What a weird look. Done. Finally. Now let's get to the tunnels. Right then, so... All we're doing at the minute is just going to the right to go back into the past to be able to get this valve right here, which is on the top of a bunch of boxes. Then go back into the future, pop the valve on, and then that will sort of give us, uh, that'll make the elevator work, which we can go down. Let's go ahead and go down. Now, this next bit, it depends on how you sort of enjoy things like this. It could be extremely boring, or it could be extremely grindy, but still fun. So just uh, press the lever here and we'll be going all the way to the right and basically now this whole underground city will sort of start shaking but there will be a robot on the right which we need to fix up so we'll be going, we'll be dragging items from sort of right to left very slowly but avoiding the big rocks that fall down. Otherwise we'll die and to be fair I'd, uh, nobody likes dying. Do you want me to sing you some inspiring songs? No, thank you. Boring get let L9 sing us some inspiring songs. God damn it. Anyway, through the door we'll end up at the top and now it starts shaking and this sort of mecha drill is what we need to grab first. So nothing can actually hurt you at the moment. So just keep going to the right and basically what you will see is like a few small crumblings of rocks on the left like it was there then. They won't hurt you but as soon as you see those crumblings of rocks either go left or right to avoid it. Because that is when, uh, just a second later, the big rock will come down and and destroy it. So, wherever you keep, always keep an eye, keep, always keep an eye out. Be on the lookout. If you, as soon as you see sort of little crumblings of rocks, either stop, move to the left or right, just avoid it as you can. Either way, it's not too bad, but this does take quite a few minutes. As as you can see, you're quite slow. Um, almost died there myself, but you know, again. Be on the lookout, you should be okay, it shouldn't be too bad, but here is the robot, so as soon as you get to it, just um, press E to interact with it, or oh, I think it does it automatically, either way, it's all good. So again, this is just one big area, go into the sort of tent right here, and this is, and now this is a battery that we need, so we'll be going all the way to the left to a door, charging up this battery, and then taking it all the way back to the robot, and then we can actually move on. But again, same principle applies. As soon as you see small crumblings of rocks, just try to avoid it, and you should be golden.
So there, that wasn't too taxing, was it? I hope. But yeah, here we go. Now we got some badass robot music going. We're gonna mess shit up. Um, don't press A because you'll actually uh, get out with the robot, which you don't need. Oh, look at him, he's a little happy robot as well, isn't he? Um, I don't know what that was, sorry. Don't know why I did that. But there's all we need him for is, is just to destroy three rocks. So as soon as you get there, press the interact button, the A button, and that will sort of smash up the three rocks. Uh, rocks? Man, I cannot talk today. Uh, that'll smash up the three rocks even, <laughs> and then we can go up the ladder. It's just a shame we went through all that sort of five minutes of work to sort of destroy three rocks when potentially we could have just climbed over them. But I wish we could have done more with the robot, but hopefully if there's a great perhaps number two, we'll have more robot levels. So here we are then. We are coming up very close to the end now. We're coming up to the military base, is where, uh, which is where we need to actually go. Uh, now this bit, next bit, can be potentially a little bit confusing, but it's not all bad. There's basically uh, a spotlight which will kill you in the past, and a big worm giant creature thing in the future that will kill you. So what we have to do then, sort of have a look where the spotlight is, you can just see it on the floor there, so be very, very careful, do not go into it, it'll go red and kill you. Just follow it all the way to the end at the moment, again, make sure to be in the past of course. As soon as it hits it in the end, you need to go into that spotlight. Don't worry about the worm. Do not worry about the worm there. It will go red, but now go into the future. And then that should get you moving. If you go into the future sort of in the middle of it, then you will basically be eaten uh, by the big giant worm and you will be worm poop. So again, we are coming. We're about five minutes from the end now, which is... I mean, it's good, but it's still slightly disappointed because I actually really, really did enjoy this game. So up the ladder we go, then turn the spotlight to the other way. That'll scare off the security guard, which is great because we need to get through the door he was guarding. So we can go back into the future, back down now. It's very slowly, mind. Very slowly. There we go. So we are good to go. Go, uh, go into the past and through the door. Go up the ladder here. We'll need to collect a little uh, item. I think that's a key there on the left. And back down. And then just interact with the sort of flashing um, button on the right. Bam. And through they go. And the two guards will adjust. Shat themselves. Like, bruh. Spooky ghost stuff in this military base. It looks kind of spooky, mind. But back into the future we go for just a moment. There's going to be another item for us to just pick up right here, which we need. And then we can go back up the ladder. And to the right, go into the past and through this little door here. We've got an alarm clock. Basically, you see the general at the bottom left will be waking him up. Very important though, when you get down to the bottom of the ladders, do not sprint at all. Only walk to the left hand side, otherwise you wake up this guy and well, you know the end story. You'll be um you'll be shark food. You will be bummed. And all we're doing, you see the empty nightstand on the left hand side, just interact with that and that'll put the clock down. That'll wake up the uh, rather buff general. I wish I was kind of that buff. Why do they always make military guys look absolutely massive? I guess I'm just jealous because I'm just uh, still pure uh, fat skinny boy, which is just a shame, isn't it? But up the ladder we go again, and now that will uh, set off the alarm clock, waking up the general. Luckily, it doesn't wake anyone else up upstairs. Corporal, why are you slipping on duty? Get outside! Ten laps of jogging! No, twelve! What are you looking at? Your whole squad will run naked! Now quickly, run to the hangar and map! One, two, one, two! So that is that bit done. We also have just one achievement left after this now. We just got to uh, unlock the intertemporal achievement. So go back to the future and climb down the ladder again. 
We are literally almost done. We've got just a few more things to pick up, one more puzzle to solve, and that would be the end of the game. So, through where the general was. These black roots are very strange. They remind me of the creature that followed us before. The chemical composition is very similar. We're here. The black box is in this building. So, let's save this world, shall we? That's the spirit. So through the double doors we go, this will be the final area, and this is one of the weirder final areas. As you see, there's sort of, sort of ripples on the screen, as you can see there. They don't hurt you or anything, so don't worry, but go up the stairs twice until we get up to the top floor, and go all the way to the right, where we will pick up an item. We basically, again, need to find a, a couple of items to be able to do the final puzzle. And there are security guards down here, so you've got to be careful, so go back into the past, Go into the room on the left, and then we will need to go back into the future, and that will pick up the second of our two items. Always, it's always worth just staying in the future, um, as obviously there are no guards, so do not worry about that. But go down the stairs again, and then head all the way to the right for now. I just go through this door. And to the right, you will see what where we need to go. So we need to put the items in this sort of little flashing little box here. And you see that sort of ripple? Basically, if you don't do this puzzle quick enough, that ripple will take up the whole screen and you'll have to reset the puzzle. So you'll have to do it quite quickly. So it's always worth just skipping. When we get to that point, skip ahead a few seconds, see my finished product, and then you can just do it quickly yourself then. But... Uh, it, Obviously, for some reason, the guard's also in the future. I don't know if that was just a glitch or not, but be, be aware of him. Stay on the second floor and go into the room on the right again. And have a look at... Well, this guy's probably just like, Bruh, where the shit did you just come from? But it's all good. We, we, there was an item behind him we needed, so... Sorry, Professor, but up your guts. We needed it. Professor Morozov. Well... Mm, okay then, fine. So that's what we will be doing then. Right, so, as I said, if you go ahead and skip it to 49.53, you'll be able to see the finished project, uh, product and do it yourself quickly. Because you have to be quite quick, otherwise the ripple of the screen will come down, and of course you'll have to reset this puzzle. And this is it then, so once you've done the puzzle, grab the box that you need, and we are basically now at the very end of the game. Come out of here, this will be the final cutscene, you've got absolutely nothing left to do, so now you can just enjoy it, and make up your own mind about what actually happens in the end here. But I will actually be leaving you now, just let you uh, carry on with this cutscene, so thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals, I really hope this uh, game and this guide really helped you out and that you really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fantastic game and I do hope they will do something similar like this in the near future. So congratulations there to Caligari Games for developing a brilliant game. Uh, yeah, so I, like I said, hope this helps. Uh, it, you know, if it does, remember of course to like, comment and subscribe. It always helps that. Uh, you, you absolutely beautiful bunch and of course don't forget to check me out on my uh, socials as well like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and I am also on Patreon as well all the links will be provided in the description below but again thank you so so much for watching guys and gals I shall see you in the next one big love but, but it's only for now I won't stop never I won't abandon you I will return, no matter the cost. I will walk this crazy path a thousand times more, but I will save you. I will not stop as long as I still have this great perhaps.
signature of a living human being found. <laughs> 